Welcome once again to Seven Things Plays. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today Kevin is back in the fishing hamlet. In the last episode, we destroyed the two giant shark-headed fishermen, uh, and now we are back. We have to. Oh yeah, see that guy's here. Everybody's here. Ah, okay. Here we go. Um, we have this little shortcut going, and we're just gonna ignore all of these doofuses. Kevin has a new weapon now, which is kind of exciting. Let's see how this does. Okay, not bad. The Rakuyo. It's Lady Maria's weapon, and it's pretty awesome. So now, I think we have a path. We are going to follow it and see what happens. All right, is anybody following me? Somebody's coming. Doggy. Fish dog. What the frick, man? Okay. We are good. We are good. Ah! Yeah. Ah, another dog! Jeez, okay, everybody's coming. Everybody's coming. Let's grab one of these. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> there are more fishmen. He's got a spear. He's gonna throw that spear. He's gonna throw that spear. We're doing good. I like the Rikuya. Oh. I like the move set. It's actually pretty cool. Is that going to go through rocks? It better not go through rocks. All right. I saw another path over here. Obviously, we need to kill this other fishman. I thought I saw another path. Maybe not. Okay. All right, Kebbo. Let's go. Oh, there's more skulls coming. Oh, mercy me. Oh. Okay. He's already dead. All right, we have to watch out for the skulls. I don't think we had ever actually been hit by those, so... Lesson learned. I'm liking the Rikuyo, even though it's... I, I can't believe that it's not as powerful as the Threaded Cane. Come on, man. What are you doing? It's a fancy new weapon. It's Lady Maria's weapon. I thought it might be a little more powerful. But I'm not going to be disappointed because <laughs> there's nothing we can do about it now. We spent all our monies on the Rikuyo. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Back again. Puppy? Where's the puppy? Puppers. It's not fair. Okay. Ah! Jesus Christ! I don't understand where these things are coming from. Ah! Got my souls. Okay, that was just a mad slashing fest. Ah. Okay, we have to watch out for Skull Woman. I would like to lure these guys a little closer so I can get rid of them without Skull Blaster. Oh. Hey. Oh, thank you. Did not see that glowing. Alright, this is ridiculous. Burbly bubbliness is quite irritating. Okay, Skullman. Do this quickly. Okay, run. Jeez, man. Oh, no. Jeez. This is insane. <laughs> Come on. Okay, giant fishman. Ow. I can't, I can't get away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I... 
world there's just nowhere to dodge with these idiots. Again. Large fishman is on his way. Uh, is there any way to parry the large fishman? That would be fantastic. <laughs> He's just hanging out. See, this is not the same as the smaller large fishman. There is the giant fishman and then the really giant fishman. This is one of the really giant fishmen. There is nothing to do. There is nothing to do. There is nothing to do. I only have 14 vials left. I'm going to use two right now, and then I will have 12. And there is nothing to do. Kevin. These things are bosses. These things are ridiculous. One more hit. Five blood vials. That sort of makes up for the frustration. Okay. Gigantor is dead. That's fantastic. Let's explore a little bit. Let's see what we've won, shall we? Great ones with some. That's good, because we just used all of that. Okay, we can't get up here. Looks like we could get up here, but we can't get up here. We have the little rock upon which the witch fish was throwing her skulls. Is there anything up here? not appear to be so we're still just going up I guess we're still going up let's find another lantern here pretty soon shall we okay we've got some things to explore is this just a little overlook no this is actually a path yeah. oh what's that looks like a beached whale or something okay all right, let's keep exploring. Things are getting crazy, gang. Kevin is still alive somehow. Oh, there's a lantern. There's a damn lantern. Oh, that's an actual... Oh. Who are you? I'm afraid I've made a botch of things. Oh, I can hear the bell now. The beast hide assassin. He's after me. Again. And again. It never ends. Okay. <sighs> Who is that? Please. I need you to do something. This village is the true secret. This one? 
testament to the old sins. It feeds this hunter's nightmare. Please, bring to an end the horror. I'm, I'm good so with that. So forefathers sin. We hunters cannot bear their weight forever. It isn't fair. It just isn't fair. I'm with you, buddy. I'll end the nightmare. How do I do it? Are you dead? No, oh, come on. Simon's bow blade underground cell inner chamber key. All right, let's light this lamp and let's take a look at these items. Hunter's bow blade, or no, it was Simon's something or other. Uh, Simon's, 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 Simon's bow blade. So this is something that requires. Why can't I use this? Uh, eight strength, fifteen skill. Oh, nine blood tinge. Okay. Uh, let's see. Choice weapon of Simon, one of the first healing church hunters. Simon despised firearms, and so the church workshop had this specially fashioned to his liking. The large curved blade served as a bow when transformed. Huh. But aside from a few close friends, Simon was scoffed at for his choice of arms. For who would dare face the beast with a measly bow? Interesting. All right, and then we had uh, a key, a key, a key. Let's see, do, do, do. underground cell key, underground cell inner chamber key, key to the inner chamber of the blah, blah, blah. Uh, cell below the grand cathedral. The innermost chamber was the underground of the underground cell holds a lone madman. He wears a beast hide, the beast hide hunter, and rings a bell that emits no sound. Unending death awaits those who can hear the soundless bell. Ew, I think we need to go kill this man. Let's go, we'll travel to... Uh, if I can remember which lantern it is, we'll go there, we'll open his cell, and we'll take care of him. He killed Simon, apparently, so now we will kill him. Even though I don't know Simon, I don't really care about Simon, but he did give us a nice blade, didn't he? So let's go. This is the dude who was speaking gibberish, and we couldn't get into his cell, I think. Uh, underground corpse pile, Nightmare Grand Cathedral, right? Or, or I guess we could just do the research hall, but... I can't remember which does which. We'll see. Nightmare Grand Cathedral might not be the right one. I think we should have done the research hall one, because then we can just go right down the elevator to the cells. So we may be traveling again. Hurry up and load. Hurry up and load. Hurry up and load. Uh... Where am I? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is wrong. Okay. We'll, we'll be right back. Okay. Uh, here we are at the research hall. We will go on the elevator. And I think this will bring us to where we need to go. This is a fun little uh, alternative path, I guess. Where are the dudes? The bell. Remember the bell? He's mentioned the bell. Hey, look. These guys are dead. What the? Okay expecting that. Why can't I... I can't hit him! I can't freaking move either, by the way. Jeez! Did you see that? I couldn't hit him! What the F? Okay, he's wearing like a cleric beast outfit, by the way. Except he had horns. Alright, let's, let's see what's going on. I guess the cleric beast did have horns, didn't it? That was a very a little baby cleric beast that he skinned <laughs> and wore the clothing of. That was a lot of souls too, by the way. Uh, oh man. All right, that was annoying. I don't know what he used that made it so I couldn't actually hit him, but that could be a problem. Let me see something here. Look at that. I'm gonna put my and key back on for this fight, I believe. Okay. 
Let's go. This is a serious fight. So he's already out of his cell, or is he, he's like projecting an image of himself, I guess. He's like invading. don't like the battleground there. It's very tight and very annoying. It's the same problem with that doofus who we fought before. Oh, can I get my blood echoes? Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's go up. Maybe he will chase us up and we will have room to actually battle. Sort of. There are all the beds in the way and everything. Come along! Sinister noises. Is he not going to follow me? Nobody ever wants to go to where you want to fight, Kevin. I think I hear the rats scurrying around. Is he gone? He's going to jump out of one of these rooms, isn't he? No, oh, no. Okay. It doesn't do anything. Why can't I hit him? Okay, now he's following me. Come on. I don't know why I can't damage him at the moment. Now we, oh, for God's sake. Okay, now we got an, a little pickle here going. Where is that cell? If I can find the cell, maybe I can kill his body? Where is the cell? Is this the cell? No, this is not the cell. Okay, let's see if we can find the cell. I can't remember where the hell it is. It's stairs going down. Stairs going down. Ow. Here we go. Is there an actual human in here that we can kill? <gasps> is that him? Did I kill him? <laughs> Why can't I kill him? Stop laughing. I think I killed him. Okay, that was weird. I've got the blood letter. So does that mean he's not going to invade me anymore? Let's look at this weapon. My lord, everything is so weird. This is just a weird game, gang. Uh, blood letter. The, deme uh, the Demented Hunter weapon brandished by Braidor, the healing church assassin. The blood letter assumes its true and terrifying form after it draws upon blood from the inner reaches of one's body and soul. This is the only effective means of expelling tainted blood, or so Braidor, isolated in his cell, continued to believe. All right. Good job, Braidor. I guess you are now dead. I would love to have your little outfit, but apparently that is not to be. All right, gang, I guess we did something, maybe? <laughs> Let's see if he still invades me when we go back up. And then we will head back to the fishing hamlet. Oh, Braidor. I'm here. Oh, what's this? Braidor's testimony. What was that? Is that a rune? Uh... What the hell was that? Maybe a key item? Aha! Oh, it is! It's his outfit! Braidor's testimony! The scalp of a horrible cleric beast, indicating that Hunter Braidor, a healing church assassin, had killed a compatriot. Afterwards, he wore his ally's own scalp and hid himself away deep below in a cell. The church provided him with a single soundless bell of death to ensure their secrets would be kept. So this is a... It's a hat? <laughs> Hold on. 
This is crazy. Uh, okay. Braidor's testimony. There it is. <gasps> uh, <laughs> Yay, Kevin! All right, gang. Well, that's awesome. Uh, I guess we're going to head back to the uh, b -b -b fishing hamlet now and see what's going on. But now we have an awesome cleric beast scalp after killing Braidor. That is fantastic. All right, we'll head back. All right, gang, we are back. I leveled up once. I also got a couple blood vials. I realize I have very few, very few blood vials left right now, which is not fantastic. Okay, so that's where we came from. No, this is where we're going. No. Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> I guess we're going out here. This way? No, this is where we came from. Okay, careful there, careful. Don't want to be killed. I guess this is where we're going. Does not open from this side, of course. So this must be another shortcut that we can open up. We got some kin, cold blood. Alrighty. How much longer is this fishing hamlet area? I am quite curious. This is a door. Does not open from this side. Okay, so it looks like we have a couple other shortcuts, which leads, which leads me to believe that this level is going to be quite a bit longer. Let's go. No, this doesn't go anywhere either. Oh, no, no, this does. This goes onto some roofs. All right. I have got the cleric beast hat, which I'm quite amused by. Too bad Simon died. I could go like, hey, what's up, buddy? Go, no, Braidor! And he would have a heart attack and die. Of course, he already died, so. Okay, looks like we've got some dudes. Uh, is that just a normal dude? I can't tell if that's a fishman standing on the ground or a normal dude standing on the roof. The giant fishman standing on the ground. This thing sounds like it's gonna break. Bloodied armbands. Do I have time to look at these? Uh, da, ba, da, ba, da, bloodied, 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 bloodied armbands. Braidor donned a compatriot's beastly scalp and hide while still moist with blood. Most of the blood stains on this hide were from that day. Okay. I'm not going to wear these right now because they're not as powerful as the arm cuff thingies that I'm currently wearing. But that's cool if we can get Braidor's whole set. Okay, we have ladder. Let's do some investigation. Oh, look, it's a evil, 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 evil. Oh, can I get back up if I do this? Yes, I can. Okay. No, not today, Scully. Thank you. Let's get the Rukuyo back. All right, so we killed Scully. I guess we're going in here. Hello? It's Kevin. No, oh, this guy's coming. We shall lead them back. Ah, where are we? Okay, give me some blood vials. Something has got to ambush me at some point, you would think. Hey, look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at these. Look at these little shells, these Nautilus shells. Remember the weird beastie that we saw that had fallen from the sky? This is getting very interesting. There was a ladder, too, that I could try. Oh, there's Scully. Okay. All right, this is crazy. This is a very large area. Um, I don't know how much time we have left in this episode, but let's check the ladder first, I guess. I was kind of hoping we would come to the end of this soonish. Where was the ladder? <laughs> I 
can't freaking remember. Oh no, the ladder was outside, wasn't it? Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right here. So where is this going to take us? Hmm. Do I want to be here? It seems like the main path is elsewhere. Alright, let's just explore. That's all we can do. Give me blood vials, please. Oh wow, okay, so there's so much going on on the roofs here. And all around, where the hell am I supposed to go? Ah! Don't wanna fall in there. Okay, okay. Let's take care of Scully. Scully is not dead. That's irritating. Okay. Okay, Scully has lightning. Okay, that's annoying. So whatever I get down there, that's gonna be a problem. Oh! Ah, damn it. <laughs> he wants to lead me there. Oh, look at that. That doesn't look like a good thing. I killed it. Okay, okay. That would have been a disaster if I had fallen in there. That was quite the little trap. Oh, Lord. Okay, hey. I guess I'm jumping down here. Ah! You were the one to spring the trap. I want to get to a good ending spot, and I don't know that we have yet. We're getting chunks, we're getting all sorts of stuff. Okay, so we have this whole crazy area with all these people down below. There's a lightning thrower, there are fish dogs, there are fish men, and it looks as though this is the only path that I can take. Now, anyway. Oh, Lord. There's a lot going on here. What the hell just happened to me? What the frick? What the frick? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I almost went off, at, off the deep end. Okay, lightning woman. Stupid dog. Okay, get sh oh lord. This is ridiculous. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea where I am in relation to where I started anymore. Uh, that was insane. I can't believe I survived that. I think it's not over yet. Okay, okay. Let's just try to get our bearings a little bit. We'll see if we can discover anything. Okay. <laughs> There's somebody in here, obviously. Oh, come on. We have these dudes. Hey, I lit one on fire. Oh, 
spot. Freaking sake, Kevin almost swore. <clears throat> I'm gonna get rid of all these things because you know that somebody's going to throw something at me and it's not going to be fun. Okay. Bloodstone chunk. So I have no idea where I am. I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea how to get to where we need to be. Obviously, if I go any further that way, I will die. Uh, let's just try to grab the items we can and figure out where we need to go next. Whether or not that occurs in this episode, I am not sure. Uh, so let me just explore around a little bit and we'll see what happens. All right, I think I've covered all the ground in this big open area down below. There is a ladder. I guess we will get back up and maybe we'll be going into the crazy fish cave. After that, I'm not sure. Okay, so this leads us back here. And from thence, oh now, see, we can still go up on all these roofs and everything. Yeah, this is weird, man. Is there any place that we should be jumping to as well? Because that's something. It's just a maze, man. Oh, see, there's an item down there I never grabbed. I don't know. I think we're going back to the fish cave, though. That seems to be what is happening. <clears throat> No, it isn't. Aha! Beast hide garb. I got the garb, man. Let's check it out. Uh, beast hide garb. Not bad. Not bad. Not great against thrust and blood defense and all that other stuff, but let's take a look. <coughs> the bloodied hide of a horrible cleric beast pulled over the black. Oh, pulled over the back. Without the attached beast hide, this foreign garb wouldn't raise anyone's eyebrows. Raydor donned a compatriot's beastly scalp and hid while still moist with blood. Most of the blood stains on this hide were from that day. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead. A hey, similar to the crow feather garb. I kind of like wearing the blood and hide of your enemies. That amuses me. I should be wearing a fish hide though. Kin cold blood. Okay. Gang, I don't know that there's anywhere else for us to go in this area, and I'm not sure I remember how to get back to the weird fish cave that we were exploring, but uh, I think that's probably it for this episode. Between the, this episode and the next, I will try to get back to where we were, and then we will continue on exploring. There were those weird nautilus shells, all sorts of stuff going on in that weird area. So we will see what we can see, but until next time, tell me to get him late. I'll see you later. Kevin is a beast, quite literally.